Now we're going to put glue over those holes that you see there. Put a little spray glue. This is where that headliner is going to get glued to. Now you don't necessarily have to glue that here. I do it because it sets it up much better. Now this is where it's crucial. This is where it gets tight. This is where you have to pull it nice and tight. And I glue it up on that section. Many people will tell you you have to glue them. Like I said, you have to glue it tight to the bows, the felt material to the bows, glue that tight. That's not the case. This is what has to be tight in the back. So just pull it and even it out. Make sure you're even all the way across on both sides. You see what I'm saying? It, it goes up just a little bit where those bows are. If you would have glued that felt material to the seam, you would have had a bigger pocket. Okay, now basically use door panel clips to put in the plastic strip they have in the front. I'm not too crazy about this plastic strip that TMI has. It's kind of flimsy, and in some of the restorations I've been doing, you'll see later that uh, this one actually turned out okay. Um, but as you can see, that's the way you put the clips in. Position downward, like basically upside down like that. And I'll show you why you do it like that. Put the last bow in. So you're gonna you're gonna turn. I put the bow in first, and then you're gonna. They have plastic strips on the back for the back window, as you can see there, just above. Make sure you turn that, and it goes in correctly, as if the, as if the strip is facing you. Basically, you can pop one in, a, a door panel clip into that, those holes there, just for now. Pop that back plastic strip in. Make sure you're lined up all the way across. You can kind of stuff it in and get it started with your fingers. Remember, that strip has to hook into that back area there. And then get that putty blade again and start stuffing it in. And you'll feel it getting hooked. And when you tug on it, it should be tight. If it's not tight, then just keep stuffing it back in there. Same on the sides here. See, take a look at those door panel clips up there. See, I, I, you got to turn that strip inward so those, so it's got a rounded edge. And so the mohair shows, not the plastic. So now it's I flapped it back out just temporarily. But on the sides here, you just stuff that down in there. Sometimes the strips get caught in one another and you get some wrinkles, like I'll show you here. Um, and more, it might be getting caught on the, the headliner. Uh, that we did earlier over the pillar so sometimes you might have to make some adjustments don't be afraid to work on the Volkswagen see here I got some wrinkles there's a little bit of a caught section up here in this corner but it's common it happens sometimes again that the material is just not just right you know it is aftermarket so now you can start popping those door panel clips in and what I mean by that plastic strip in the front there, sometimes it's kind of flimsy. And again, depending on the year of your car and sometimes the material that you get in, it's not measured just right. And that plastic strip will get wavy. And that whole front section will be wobbly looking and it looks terrible. So what you can do is you can get a flat bar, kind of like the bar that was in the back for the back bow section, and uh, insert that underneath the plastic strip so it keeps it straight. But uh, as you can see, another wrinkle here. There's some bunching up here. And what you can do is, I'll show you, so you start pulling it down. And if you start tucking it tighter into the sides here, you'll, you'll get rid of that wrinkle. Just keep working it. And basically, this is the last part. Um, we're going to do it under the quarter windows. I mean, to me, it's the last part I, you know, on, on the diagram. I may not show that, but 
I usually leave this for last. Um, by now you should be have getting the hang of uh, working with this material and how it sets up on the inside of your car. So basically, again, like I said, dry on dry. Now over here, you you know, towards the end by the door post, I'll show you. It's I glue on the car and then actually on the material. But what then I do is I tuck it and I tur I turn it under to give it a nice rounded look instead of the edge of the material. So that makes it look nice. Okay. Now we've got our dome light. And uh, basically you just feel around for the light where the hole is. Just get yourself a razor, cut a slit in the center. And then uh, you might have to do a couple more tiny slits. Just be careful. Find your wires. Now you want to set it up where the, the brown wire is towards the front of the car, the red wire is towards the opposite side, the rear of the car. And basically it's the brown wires are ground and usually on the sides of those dome lights is the brass um, clip. That brass clip has to hit the side, the metal inside the roof here and make sure it's clean and make sure there's a good contact there and that's how uh, the dome light should work um, when the door opens. Ooh, bright light, bright light. <laughs> now this is an option here. Um, what I usually do is sometimes I have leftover headliner material and I, I bring my assist straps to a uh, a person like a seamstress and um, or you know a person who's really good at sewing and she's able to wrap that material around the assist straps. And I'll show you what it looks like. It looks really nice, but if you don't want to go that route, that's fine. Just get a hole puncher. That's what I mean. I had it wrapped around, and it looks really nice in some of the cars that I've done. And it matches the, the headliner material. Um, some people just don't like the white vinyl look up against mohair. So here's your hooks, and then for the uh, 61 and later cars. Or, uh, they basically had a plastic coat hanger that went over a metal hook. The earlier cars just had a metal hook that came out. But uh, yeah, if you wanted to, like I said, put that headliner material around and have them sew it, that's pretty cool. So fine will actually do it for you if you ask them to. So uh, TMI does not. If you're doing a period correct car, West Coast Classic Restorations will give you the correct assist straps with your door posts. Now those two little screws that are behind to hold, it's a good thing we put them there. I would, you just feel around where they are, cut the headliner, and uh, take those screws out. And then basically you just want to poke the screws through the assist strap. That's why you needed the hole puncher to get those holes through. When you get them, usually when you order those assist straps, the holes are not there, and you're gonna have to poke them through. Sometimes it's a little difficult. This can be kind of hard, and if you have some of the foam in the way from the uh, doorpost area, it could be really tough to get them in the holes. I've had <laughs> some days where I'm cursing like crazy, just trying to get them in, but um, I've learned my lesson on how to do it. Um.